Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So our today's topic of discussion is check wall. The main function of check wall is to allow flow of fluid in only one direction. So check wall basically allows the flow of fluid in one direction. So it is a type of flow control wall. Flow of fluid in reverse direction is block. So reverse direction fluid is block. The fluid will flow in only one direction. Check wall is also known as non-written wall because it is only flow in one direction and the reverse direction is blocked. So it will do the oil will not return from the outlet port. Here is the symbol of check wall. Free flow direction and no flow direction. Oil from here from left to right will flow towards the right but oil from right will do not flow towards the left. So oil will flow from left to right only. From right the oil is blocked through the ball. Let's see the construction in detail. So here is the construction of check wall. It consists of a wall body, light spring, a ball, valve seat, inlet and outlet port. So when pressurized oil comes through the cylinder to the inlet port, the ball slides from left to right compressing the spring so the oil pressurized oil from inlet port is transferred to the outlet port but the oil from outlet port will not transfer to the inlet port if the oil from the inlet port the flow of oil is stopped so this spring will again expand and come to its original position and ball will, ball will lock the wall seat. The wall seat is open here so this ball will lock the wall seat by expansion of spring. So the oil flow from the outlet is blocked by the ball. As there is stoppage in oil flow in inlet, so it is the position, rest position. That's all about the check wall. Now come to shuttle wall. Shuttle wall allows the flow in two different directions. Shuttle wall allows the flow in two different directions. Here is the construction and symbol of the shuttle wall. So let's see. Here is the port, inlet port P1, inlet port P2 and the outlet port A. So there is two inlet port and one outlet port. There are two cases in shuttle wall. Case 1. If P1 that is inlet port P1 is greater than the inlet port P2 then this ball will move towards opposite direction and oil will flow towards the A from inlet port P1. If the pressure of P1 is greater than P2 then the oil will flow from P1 to A. This was the first condition. Now the second condition is if the pressure of P2 is greater than P1 
then the oil will flow from P2 to A and P1 port is blocked by the wall. So, this are the two cases of the shutter wall. So, it allows flow in two different directions from left of P1 and from right of P2. So, it is depend on pressure. If the inlet pressure is greater or where the inlet pressure is greater, from that port, it will transfer the oil to the outlet port. This is the symbolic representation of shuttle wall. It consists of inlet port P1, inlet port P2 and a outlet port A with a blockage of wall. So this was the explanation of shuttle wall. In this video we have completed two walls, check wall and shuttle wall. So that's all for today. For more such videos, Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.